Hey guys, Jeff here with Crossbow Nation and welcome to another episode of Crossbow Nation TV. On this episode, we're going to feature two crossbow turkey hunts using our Excalibur crossbows. We'll be in Pennsylvania and in Nebraska and one hunt goes exactly as planned. The other hunt, we have a small minor little glitch and uh, well, you'll just have to watch it to see what happens. So let's cut to the footage now and see how these hunts unfold. So we're in Northwest PA uh, turkey hunting and we roosted the birds the night before and so we knew right where we were going the next morning. So we got in there before light and uh, we heard the birds on the roost and Andy started working them. When the birds hit the ground, it sounded like they were going the other way, so Andy decided to switch calls. <laughs> After he switched the calls, uh, we could tell that they liked it and they were heading our way. For over 30 years, Excalibur has led the way in crossbow performance. We've crossed the strongest rivers. We've battled the harshest conditions. We've climbed into countless tree stands. We've stalked endless miles. We asked ourselves, how do you make the world's best crossbow better? Make it a micro. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology.
they worked their way out to an opening about 30 yards and I decided to take the shot. Get him, bro, get him, get him, get on him, get on him, get on him. When I went over the hill, I couldn't find a bird at first, but I did find a lot of blood and it led me right to the bird. Piled up. Nice two year old. What's the spurs like? Three quarter inch spurs. It's good. Double with blood, all right. <laughs> I was glad to shoot this bird with my good buddy Andy and to get it on film for Crossbow Nation. Crossbow Nation TV is brought to you by Mission Archery. It was our last day of our hunt in Nebraska for our early archery season. Had a bird gobbling good across this cut cornfield. No, it's not. I don't think it's He sees the decoys right now. Bird came in, I switched the diaphragm call, turned around, went the other way. Bird came in again, but just wouldn't commit to the decoys. I switched calls on him again to a friction type call and he really liked that so he came back for another look.
Name lock. We had another bird gobble behind us. This turkey in front of us decided to go see where that turkey was. Something's going on over there. He comes in like he did again. Just shooting that far. He was like at 40, wasn't he? Gotta be. Those other birds must cross the road or something. Serious about your hunting? Learn what America's top crossbow hunters already know. The Chaos 325 from Camax Outdoors is the deadliest crossbow hunting system ever. Powerful, light, compact, and rugged, the Chaos 325 comes ready to hunt and is the only crossbow with guaranteed accuracy and satisfaction right out of the box. See what sets them apart at CamaxCrossbows.com. 100% American made, 100% dependable, 100% guaranteed for life. Camax, America's hunting crossbow. So I began to work both birds, and both birds decided to come in. There's a couple other ones. Let me to try him. How far is he? Four or three? All right, there's a little gap. Longbeard just wouldn't commit to the decoys and shied away, so I knew I had to take a shot. You gotta be kidding. All of that work. What did I, where did I shoot? Was it low?
That's enough to make a guy sick. After reviewing the footage, we could tell it was a good clean miss. So this turkey lives to gobble another day. Well, congratulations, Bruno, on an excellent crossbow kill. And uh, Andy, there's always next year. You know, guys, I was on that hunt with Andy. I was the cameraman. And as you know, the hunt isn't always about the kill. We had a great morning that morning. We had birds gobbling all around us. And uh, for Andy to pull that bird all the way across the cornfield like he did, only to have it leave to go challenge another turkey and then come back into our decoy set, um, I know that was a hunt that me and him won't soon forget. And again, it's not always about the kill. And, and that was a, a hunt where I learned a lot about turkey hunting and I was glad to be a part of it. So, hey, that wraps up this episode of Crossbow Nation. Tune in next week. You're going to join me in Ohio with my mission crossbow on a late season turkey hunt. So you're not going to want to miss it. We'll see you then.